what is going on? We're back at it with, ow, the two door. I'm gonna fix that. It's such a beautiful day today. I mean, look, look at the two door. The two door just doing his thing. Looking extra Jurassic Park theme. So as you can tell by the thumbnail, there are there is one secret thing that I found and four other things that I really, really like about it. I'm not gonna be one of those guys like, oh, 10 things I hate about my brand new Viper, my brand new Camaro, and then, you know, 20 million views or whatever, and then they go off and buy a McLaren and then wreck it, turn it on fire, and I'm keeping it real. Here it is. So, number one, I'll show you the one thing, the one secret thing that I found that I didn't even know was a thing in my two-door that may be in other uh, Yukon's, you know, uh, the, the the Yukon Tahoe and the Blazer, right? Okay, so center console, right? The center console, I mean, you know, you got stuff right there, whatever you want. Open this up, you know, gr granola bar, you know, stuff like that. It's pretty deep in there. But one thing I never, I didn't know, I was like, okay, like, what is this for? I thought this was like to like, you know, set your phone down or something, but I was like, it doesn't do anything. Like, how do you open it? But what I found out, other people may know, I didn't know. It was a super big surprise to me, but boop, bam, look at that. Got a crisp one in there. I was legitimately surprised that this was a thing. Like, I didn't even know. Like, you could put, like, so many things in here. Like, you, like you could just, like, you know, have your little wallet in there. Oh, dollar again. Doesn't matter. Spare fuse. A Glock. You know, not really. Emergency mask. I don't know, you know, paperwork, papers, whatever, whatever. I don't, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I mean, well, if you have one of these and you got 5% tin all the way around, I'm pretty sure you're going to need something to show the cop when you get pulled over a lot. So, you know, boom, right there, officer, there it is, I'm legal. Let it go. Or something that, I, since I didn't even know this was a thing here, what I think I'm going to try and do is I'm going to take this apart and I'm going to probably put a wireless charging pad right into here. Take it apart. I'll probably take drill it through here and then make a USB connector in here. You know, make it all nice. So that way you got a wireless charging pad right here. So I think that's super dope. I never knew it. I was hoping to find something in here cool because it doesn't look like it's been opened ever because all of this is like super clean and you know, this is all like sun bleached and everything or whatever that word is. But yeah, look under it. You may find something in there that you've been looking for for 20 years and it might be there. Pretty cool. You know, back here you got a cup holder. I just, I cleaned everything out a little bit. And then right here you got more storage. I thought I was gonna find something in there, but I wasn't, you know, I cleaned it all out. So that's one secret thing that I found out. And now let's go on to the other thing that I think is pretty cool when it comes to the two door. Now, let me see if I can do this one handed. Oh, oh nope, that's not gonna work. If I try it like this. That's not gonna work. There we go. A few love taps and we got it right. Right here. This is cool. This is how you know like these cars were like for like working. Boom! This looks like it's gonna break, so I'm not gonna take it out, but you can pull it out and you can see here that you can, you know, retract it in there. You could pull it out here, shine it on whatever you gotta do if you're on the side of the road and you gotta do a battery or something. But yeah, that oh. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, still works. Not gonna mess with it no more. <laughs> that's a, that's the a second thing I like. Now, you know, I'm probably getting getting older and I find stuff like this cool, but you got a freaking storage compartment. So, you know, you got my my handy dandy eight mil to disconnect the battery, because this thing, battery dies overnight. I gotta fix the draw on it. But, works for now. That is freaking dope. And I'll show you another thing that I really like about the two door. Let me get my, oh, I messed my scan tool out of the way. See, I was using the jack swax to clean everything up. I cleaned up pretty nice. Cleaned up pretty nice. Rug is a little dirty. Ugh. But let me get the view right here in the center. And you can see that sitting in the back seat, dude, you get full view of everything. 
even when you're driving. So, you know, I can put the camera right here in the driver's perspective. And, uh, you know, there it is. You got a little seat cover right there. There's the passenger seat. Like I said, I gotta clean it, but it's coming out pretty okay. And when you go ahead and when you turn it over, and when you look around, dude, there's no blind spots. There are no blind spots. What's up? Mustang right there. Back door right there. I think that's pretty cool because it's one it's 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 one big piece of glass. I mean, look at it. One giant piece of glass. So again, you're sitting here driving and. Ooh. right there right there you see everything you see everything which is pretty dope which is pretty freaking cool and I'll show you that the tint is actually it's pretty okay but I'm gonna go 5% anyway so if I go here boom it does pretty okay for factory and then you can look at it outside the downside to this being the you know the, the back door or the non-existing back door is that uh we went to a drive-thru safari, and I'll put a video clip up. He looks very grouchy. Oh, what happened? right here and it's pretty dope you can feed the animals right there in the spot i would love to take this this is like the perfect car to go over there with but no back window to roll down so like if me and my girlfriend are in the front seat and you know my mom and her friend are in the back and they don't really want to touch the animals but me and my girlfriend could just like feed everything and you know do stuff like that that would be pretty dope and look it's comfortable i'm in the, i'm in the back dude i got access to everything that i need there, there's a freaking cup holder right here you know the old school little thing right there but i dig it so secret compartment the work light the storage compartment up in the front the the overall view of just everything in the two-door being that it's a two-door it's a tahoe coupe i'm gonna keep calling it a tahoe coupe i dig it and one of the last things that i like is right there you know i gotta fix the headliner because I think a dog was living in here at one point. I found dog food. I just cleaned everything out. But look, we got, I think those are seven by tens. Seven, some weird, weird size. It's not a six by nine because people do six by nine retrofits on these things. But that's dope. And again, literally arm distance to the speaker, like right here. So if I get some good component speakers and tweeters up in the front, get, some, get these rocking pretty good too, and have a 15, all, look at all this open air. Oh my God, the bass. I get stupid when it comes to cardio. I'm not on drugs, I'm not. This is just me naturally. If you know me, this is just me. But yeah, this is, that will be freaking dope. So sound system's coming in here, slowly but surely, but we're up and moving. We got the Tahoe going. If you haven't followed along, you know follow the journey i got plenty of stuff to come you know i got the i got the fresh monster transmission over there so they did take care of me so i got that i'm waiting for some fluid other than that man two-door tahoe life i dig it and look right here i got tools and everything so i'm working you know i'm working busting ass trying to get it done but dude every day every freaking day i love this thing more and more i don't know why even though it's mad squeaky right now and my driver's door doesn't really work because I got to put a handle and a re window regulator in it. I don't care. Maybe, I don't know why. I don't know why I like this thing. And I, I don't want to paint it because if I paint it, I'm going to be scared to scratch it and this and that. I kind of like the rugged look that it has a little bit. And, you know, when a, when a LS finds its way in there, it'll be uh, unsuspecting. Yeah yeah but that's it more to it dude look at these seats they're so freaking good i cleaned them up a little bit you know they're a little rough roughed up a little bit but dude i freaking dig it more stuff to come i would again that's why i'm working that's why i'm doing everything that i gotta do because i want to do some badass stuff with this and then have the world see and have you guys see it and follow along and i hope you guys have a good day and i'll see you guys in the next one